keeping his promise to graduate from the academy, Naruto studied as much as possible because of what Hokage promised. The whole time Naruto studied, there was something telling him that Hokage might be hiding something from him. However, during those few months, the Hokage had received news about the new Kazakage of the Sam village. The Hokage couldn't believe what he had been told and who the new Kazakage was now. Are you sure it's him? How did this happen? Lord Hokage, we seen him with our own eyes and it was because the late Kazakage passed away. Hokage had a feeling that you had full control over the Nine Tails already, but was no surprise. Hokage knew something had to be done, except this would take time and preparation. For now, the only thing to do was to be patient. Hokage had to see what your next move would be. For now, watch over him, see what he does, and who talks to him. As you wish, Hokage. Gara was looking for you all over the house until he found you in the sand garden. Looking at the clouds in the evening sky, Gara just ran over to you and hugged you, wrapping his arms around your waist standing beside you. Feeling Gara hug you broke the thoughts in your head. Kneeling down to hug Gara in return, you smiled at him. Gara, what's wrong? Brother, you're not celebrating with us and the rest of the village? I'm sorry, Gara. Just thinking, that's all. Gara traced the hitman on your forehead with his fingers and could see you were uneasy. Brother, when I'm older, will you watch me participate in the tuning exam? I wouldn't miss it for the world, Gara. Carrying Gara on your back, the both of you went back to the celebration, and then Tamari and Konkuro hugged you tightly. Now that the old Kazakage was gone, and the truth about your abilities finally revealed didn't matter, taking care of your family is what you needed to do, and now you needed to find your brother, Naruto. Lord Hokage, someone was sent here from the Hidden Sand Village. Why would they be sent here? They were ordered by the Kazakage to come see you. We should go see what they are here for. Sensei Baki was ordered to deliver a message to Lord Hokage about having a meeting in the Hidden Leaf Village. To have a visit back in the Hidden Leaf Village so soon, Lord Hokage could only accept and hopefully get some answers. After accepting the message request, Baki returned to the Hidden Sand, and Lord Hokage decided to go visit Naruto. Lord Hokage had no choice but to tell the truth to Naruto earlier than he thought. Naruto was home because he felt sick. However, it felt like he was being healed by someone far away, smiling a little, finally not feeling alone after being unwanted and without love. I don't know where you are, but I'm happy I have someone. Hokage was standing on the other side of the door, hearing Naruto's voice and feeling Naruto's brother's chakra at the same time. Telling Naruto the truth now could give him false hope that his older brother even remembered Naruto. Until Kazekage visits the village, I can only hope he knows of Naruto. The Hokage just disappeared back to his office and began preparing for the arrival of Kazekage. Baki had reported back to you and then left your side. Feeling drained from the celebrations of the day, it was time to sleep. Walking to your room, only thinking of the meeting 
with Hokage, also hoping that Naruto was feeling better from the cold he had. In your room, one person was asleep on your bed. It was Gara, sound asleep, and you were happy. Gara had no more nightmares. You will always be my brother, Gara, no matter what, because we are family. I love my home, Tamari, Konkuro, and you mean the world to me. Falling asleep holding Gara in your arms, peacefully and not knowing someone was planning to kill you. The person that wanted to kill you was your first love, but you both have been separated.